Good morning and welcome to Heartland Dual Sport. This morning I'm really excited to bring you a box opening. It's also going to be part of the Planning Your Epic Adventure. As many of you know, we've started a playlist on Planning Your Epic Adventure. And let's go see what's in the box. Recently I was online and I was watching a video where a guy had got out on a trail. He had lowered down his air pressure for his uh, motorcycle tires to help out on the trail. And then when he got ready to leave, sometime between his ride and getting ready to leave, he ended up getting a pinch flat. And he needed to, A, put a new tube in his tire and then air his tire back up which makes for a great video and it's something that we all know that could actually happen to, to anybody at any time whether you get a pinch flat or any other type of flat this is a product that is from best rest products and it's something that's actually been on back order for a little bit so i'm pretty excited to get it in and bring it to you and kind of show it to you but it's kind of it's going to answer a lot of questions for a lot of people but i've seen uh a lot of different items out on the market to air your tires up with. This one is actually pretty awesome and it's something that I've been waiting on. Again, like I say, I've been waiting on it for a little bit. It comes with a nice, nice carry case, cycle pump, and uh, you guys can order your own at cyclepump.com. But uh, let's, let's take a look at it real quick and show you how. Alright guys, it's got a really nice velcro deal and I'll bring it up to a closer view but you can see it this is called cycle pump again cyclepump.com is where you can get yours but I want to show you something that's actually pretty awesome if you look here there's actually a clip on the actual hose itself so you can actually clamp this hose to your valve stem and it'll stay there so you don't have to actually hold it down the whole time and then you have a standard plug-in so you guys who have the chargers already hooked to your battery you can use that it comes with a cigarette lighter adapter which you can you can do just like this plug it in there and then you've got a nice clean connection and this will fit into your uh, standard 12 volt it's also modified so if you're if you've got a bike like the uh, bmws with the with the fancy 12 volt connector and i don't even know what they're called i don't have a bmw or a triumph you can use this same plug-in for that one as well but again this is made by cycle pump it's got an on and off switch over here you've got a really long cord so once you plug it in you can actually go to your front tire or your rear tire but this rubber on the outside is, is twofold. It helps keep it up off the dirt when you're generally you end up getting a flat, you're going to be in dusty conditions and or whether it's gravel or dirt or whatever, even on a blacktop road. Little rubber pieces keep it up off the ground so that you're, when your air compressor sucking air, it's not sucking in dust into the motor and messing up your motor. It's got a really nice heavy duty case so this thing should last even bouncing around in the back in your toolbox or whatever else it should last a long time and then to go and ride along with it is the cycle pump air gauge and i want to show you something real quick you can actually connect that on there and then connect this to your tire and you've got an air gauge while you're pumping air so these are really cool products what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and stop the video here we'll take it out in the garage we'll show you how we're using it to air up our tire check our tire pressure this is going to be something that we're going to use pretty regular especially the air gauge i like to check my tire pressure very often if you do and you take care of your tires and the tire pressure your tires will last a lot longer and then also as you know when you get off road you want to air down it'll be real easy you can actually use this valve 
right here on the top of this air gauge it has a release valve so you can hook this up again it's got the grip to grip it onto your valve stem and you can watch your tire pressure you can air down just by pushing the button because it's going to release the air you can air your tire pressure down and then when you get ready to leave all this is in a nice kit folds up nice and easy you can have it with you on your bike plug it in and then air your tires back up when you're getting ready to hit the road again again we'll go out and do a little bit of a demonstration on how to use the air pump and, and the gauge and how nicely it all ties together I do want to point out if you guys do not have the 12 volt accessory cord you can actually clamp this to battery terminals also and it's got the quick connect with the fuse and while we're talking about the, that real quick if I understand correctly this air pump or almost any other air pump you need a 15 amp fuse so if you guys remember when we installed the plug-in for our Honda Africa Twin the standard plug-in it's got a seven and a half amp fuse so if you plug this in it's going to pop the fuse and if you guys remember that's all back behind the cowl and it's not even an easy inline fuse to get to so it's going to be problematic on replacing the fuse what it, we have done to correct that is we've installed another power port with an inline 15 amp fuse knowing that we were going to be using an air pump we, we've installed this other accessory port I've got a video that mentions it in the 1600 mile review on that Honda Africa Twin but we are going to do a video on it as well and it is an awesome power port that's going to be a great accessory to combine with this cycle pump again the cycle pump is from Best Rest Products and let's go out in the garage and take a look guys we'll go ahead and open up this this is just the one side of the E12 and I wanted to show you this because this there's right on top you can have your air gauge you're going to be checking your air more than you're going to be needing the air compressor so i've got it packed right on top and then on the other video we'll talk about the cycle pump also but uh, the cycle pump and the air gauge fits right in here okay guys i've actually got some floor dry down on the uh, concrete i don't know if you can see it but there's a little bit of floor dry spread out. I, I cleaned my chain, fixed it the other day, but this is a good example and, and this is what I want to show you another purpose for this bag is you can actually lay this bag down because as you know most of us when we're out on the trail we're going to be more in a dusty dirty environment. Put the bag down on the bottom and then you can put your cycle pump right on top of that. It'll keep it from sucking debris in and as well as sucking in dirt and junk it'll be just it just gives it a, a more filtered air if you will so that it's not sucking dirt in but i did that on purpose left this out here so you guys can see it this is uh i always use these air caps that actually have the valve stem remove around in case you need them sometimes that's easier however when i started using these i did not have this pump i'm going to show you something real quick on the top of this gauge and I'll put it on this camera right in front of me you can see there's a button right here so you can release air so let's go ahead and we'll hook this onto the tire you can see it's got the clamp it's got a clamp so you can actually push that down and clamp it to your tire and it actually holds on there pretty nice but as you can see we've got what is that roughly 17 pounds of pressure in there you can lower it if you want to air it down to you know 15 or so for the dirt roads and get it down there where you need it to be and then the extremely handy deal is when you get ready to leave and go back to camp or say you're going to get back on the road you can hook this up and I don't know if you guys seen that I'll do it again but this hooks right up here to the other side of your air gauge turn your pump on again 
show you the switch. See how it's got these little protectors right here in front of it? Turn the switch on. And you can see we're right at 18 pounds of pressure. And now we're at 20 pounds of pressure. And I'm sure you guys have noticed how easy this is, how quick this is. This is a really, really nice product. It works great. And boom, we're up to the tire pressure that I want. Just take that off, disconnect it all. Again, you got the carry cases to keep this stuff nice and clean and keep it, you know, somewhat protected. If you guys are interested in this, Again, this is the Easy Air Gauge, and this is the Cycle Pump, and this is the Expedition Series. It's got these extra rubber grommets on it, and again, this is a really nice product, and it works. This cord's long enough. You could actually set up your pump and air up two or three of your buddies' bikes. Y'all could all park right next to each other. It's uh, Again, one of the great things that I really love about this is this release valve right on top. Again, this is an extremely well-built product. This is part of our Show and Tell Monday. The more we use this product, the more we'll give you uh, more information on it and we'll do a really good in-depth review after we've had it for a while. I've only had this about a week and a half now, but I'm super, super excited about this pump. It's a great pump. It's going to be a great addition to our planning your epic adventure. I'll be using the pump and the air gauge, bringing you guys video on that as we're using it, kind of show you how it's holding up and how it's lasting. But again, I think this is just an awesome product. I've got so much faith in this product, guys. I just know it's going to work and work well. You can just tell by the way you pick it up and hold it. It's a good heavy duty. It's good quality. This is not. Uh, it's not something that's going to break when it's being bounced around in your bag. It's got a nice heavy duty metal protector box. It's also got the rubber pads around the pump. You've got the rubber around the glass part of your gauge so that it's protected. And again, guys, I, and you can just feel the quality of this thing. And uh, it, it's going to be an awesome product. If you guys know anybody that are looking for uh, cycle pump. If you know anybody who's had problems with their cycle pump or looking for maybe another option to carry on a bike, this, this packs up. Again, it was in this case, packs up nice, small, and tight. You can put it in your, even the small bags on the DRZ, the E12s, it fits right on top and it's easy to get to. This is going to be an awesome product for the off-road adventure guys. It's going to be an awesome product for anybody that rides a motorcycle because every now and again the air pressure just goes low on your tires for no reason. But again, you guys can get this at cyclepump.com. It's a great product. I'm super excited to bring it to you. If you like our video, give us a big thumbs up. If you know anybody that's looking for a cycle pump, please share this video with them. We'll have links down below so that you can go check out the website. He's got all kinds of stuff. Guys, again, thanks for tuning in to Heartland Dual Sport. If you like our video, give us a big thumbs up. If you don't mind, share our video. As always, we love your likes, comments, and subscribes, and may you have a blessed week.